Hi, this is uh, <clears throat> Danny Merrill in Tucson, Arizona. And <clears throat> I'm doing this uh, audio video for Holly Lynn Bobo. Holly Lynn Bobo was a young nursing student that uh, allegedly was kidnapped from her front yard and walked into the woods behind her house by force by a man in a camouflage uh, hunting attire or clothes. I think there's not enough publicity concerning this abduction of this young uh, woman back in April of 2011. It is now uh, January 2012, and there's no one has seen or heard from this uh, young girl since. My question is this, how can someone with a young woman in tow disappear? It is true that he apparently, this stalker, because I believe he was a stalker. I believe there was someone uh, that watched her every move every day and knew every uh, movement in her life. And finally the stalker grabbed this young uh, woman. But he obviously knows the area. So how did he escape? Did uh, the police were the police called by her older brother, Clint, immediately? And how long was the response to the area? Because a man on foot with a woman, it would seem to me, could not get very far walking. If he did not escape by walking, did he have an automobile or a truck or a motorcycle or whatever means of transportation hidden in the woods so that he could quickly get away. I wonder if the police department in, uh, uh, in Tennessee has asked for a Indian tracker to come and see if they could track anything in the forest. It may be too late now but it would seem to me that that would be a good idea because uh, a professional Indian tracker can see things that uh, other people cannot see. I certainly hope that the FBI and the Tennessee uh, security uh, people for the state and the local deputies and so forth, I would like to see more publicity not just in that area, but on a national basis, on television, on radio. It would seem to me that this is a public service announcement that would cost nothing for the police to put out a public service announcement on all of the major television stations, such as ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox News. If it's nothing but a 30-second uh, blip so the public can respond if they have seen anything uh, or anyone with this woman or any evidence of where this lady might be. Certainly I extend my personal uh, sympathy to the family. This is a tremendous burden on a family who do not know where their daughter is, do not know who kidnapped her, do not have it, the police do not have any evidence as far as we know where she is or who the kidnapper was and uh, I do not want to be uh, throwing water on a parade but I think it's safe to presume at this point uh, this girl is probably uh, deceased and uh, where would this person uh, dispose of her body it's my understanding that several states around Tennessee have also had 
uh, girls that went missing, young girls, and possibly we have a serial killer uh, loose in that uh, area of states. It seems to me that this individual uh, who kidnapped this girl is mocking the police. Catch me if you can. I would hope that this video would spark the interest of many, many thousands of people to communicate with the Sheriff's Department in uh, Tennessee, with the FBI, and with the state security people for the state, and let us see if we can supply some information that would help, help the uh, enforcement agencies resolve this problem and find this girl and find the uh, kidnapper. My name is Danny Merrill, Tucson, Arizona. My Skype ID is Danny, D-A-N-N-Y, period, Merrill. My email is Danny, D-A-N-N-Y, period, Merrill, M-A-R-R-O-W, at gmail.com. I'm not asking for any psychics to get involved, but I'm just asking for normal people to contact the police departments, the FBI, and the state security for the state of Tennessee, and the local uh, sheriff's department, if they have any ideas that would help bring a conclusion to this investigation. Thank you very much.